Hey people, it's Jen with J. Vinko, and I'm here today bringing you a glue book with me session. Um, you see there on the screen, I have some paints uh, going because I decided to paint backgrounds. And then um, this is glue booking in my themed book that um, I decided to do a page or two pages about jewels today. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, hello and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new and if you have recently subscribed or been watching my videos, thank you. It's nice to see you back here and um, and thank you for subscribing. Awesome. I'm I'm creeping up there toward 500. It's really 500 subscribers. It's pretty exciting. So um, so yeah, uh, and I usually do glue booking and magazine harvest videos and. I haven't done journaling videos in a while, but I might get back to those at some point. Um, as you can see there, I decided to go with some blue tones on the right page, and those are uh, metallic paints. <laughs> I got like partway through the page and decided to start painting the other page. I don't know. I don't know why. Just uh, my attention got diverted. I think because that pink paint, which is also metallic, it's kind of magenta. It's supposed to be magenta. Um, it was separated because I didn't shake it very well. And so I was like, oh, I better stir this. And then I stirred it and then I was like, oh, I better paint with it now. So that's what I started doing. Um, I I kind of wanted the background to be like gradient. I, I did more gradient on the blue page than I did on the pink page. I added some white on the pink page to kind of change the... I don't know, tone. I don't know if that's the right color word. I'm no, I'm no professional, that's for sure. So I just kind of kept going back and forth and um, getting darker paint and uh, as I went down toward the bottom there. So I don't know, when I started looking through my jewel pictures that I've been collecting, I just wanted, I didn't want to do a ton of overlapping because they... I don't know. I just felt like it would it would be too much to just be overlapping a bunch of sparkly, glitzy. I don't know. So I wanted to have space in the background, but I didn't just want it on a white background. So that's why I decided to paint. And I picked these colors because they were sitting on my desk. <laughs> so um, I happened to pick out these metallic colors. Um, they really stand out to me. So that's what I picked out at the store a while ago and just didn't ever know what I was going to do with them. So it was handy that day. I, I recorded this a few days ago um, and just didn't get around to voicing over until now, but it was handy to paint. And then I ran and picked up a kid and took them somewhere. And then I got back and I got to start working on it again. So it gave it time to dry. So that was convenient to kind of like squish it in between <laughs> errands and stuff. Um, and there I have metallic washi tape that's pretty thin. Um, and that tape, when you uh, when you kind of bend it or move it around, some of the metallic will come off of it. So that happened with the pink side a little bit more than the blue side, but I don't care. Um, I think the judges will be just fine with my book. There are no judges. By the way, I'm just <laughs> making this for fun. So I did have a lot of jewels. By the time I finished these two pages, I, I could still do a few more pages with what I have. But like I said, I, I didn't overlap a ton of pictures on this one. I kind of wanted to space them out and showcase my beautiful jewelry pictures. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you can see it, but that, that pink piece just has like some... It looks like it's distressed and like I did that on purpose, maybe. So we'll just, we'll just say I did. Um, and then I, I think it was, it would have been wise to, to do a little bit better with those magazine pages before I painted to try and keep the paint from going onto the other side, but it didn't, it didn't get on there too much. It just, it got on the, the, pages before it just a little bit, but no big deal. Um, you can't even really 
see it. And I was glad to see like the page, it warped a little bit, but um, setting books on it after it dried for a while kind of flattened about some. So yeah, so I have that bird there. I actually have two of those birds. Um, the second one has like a, the pearl beneath it looks kind of gray, but I just only, I just decided to use one for these pages. And then, I don't know, these pages kind of ended up organized again, not with much overlapping, just a little bit here and there, but I wanted, they're all so shiny. I wanted them to have their own space, I guess. So it was a process. So yeah, I know I lied to all of you about how many videos, how I was going to sneak in some videos during my time off of school here, but <clears throat> I didn't, didn't, haven't recorded much, um, just because I've been trying to get other things done and getting this, the kids started with school has been a lot of stuff, lots of activities going on and all kinds of jazz. So hopefully I'll get another one or two done this week and then school starts next week but I'm really hoping to fit into my schedule to record at least once a week <clears throat> excuse me so yep school's coming up um, I am sneaking in a tiny little trip to go see a friend that I haven't seen in a few years uh, maybe like I don't know maybe like four years I don't know but this is one of my best friends that I used to work with and so that'll be fun to do a little weekend visit and another one of our really good friends is coming also for work so it kind of we just kind of snuck the trip in <laughs> around that um and then i'll come back and start up my semester um and for those of you who are new or just joining i am currently in grad school and that i have this semester and then the spring semester and then i will graduate as long as I keep doing well and get all my stuff done and uh, it's pretty exciting to to be more than halfway through so oh, I'm looking forward to that these are going to be some labor intensive semesters coming up so um, because I have internship with it so that will be it'll be a good segue though into the profession I think so that'll be exciting. I really like um, on the pink page, I really like the like stack of diamonds that are kind of like S shape pattern. That one looks pretty cool. And then I really like the three rings on the right page. Those really stood out to me. All of these stood out to me. So I cut them out, but um. And like I said, I have a lot more pictures in that little, in my little folder for jewels, but I, I don't want to overwhelm the page. So, <clears throat> so yeah, painting the background or making the background is the easiest way to start. And then, you know, finding big images. If you're going to do overlapping, you want to do the big images first. Um, even if you're not going to do overlapping, because Obviously, if you put a bunch of small stuff on there, then you don't have space for the big images. Uh, so I, I like to, when I start the process for making a page, I like to just lay out stuff and figure out what I like first before I start gluing, usually. And then, and then just go crazy. And uh, Nicole from Relax Cut Glue has recommended, I think a viewer actually suggested like keeping a moist sponge in a Tupperware on her desk so she could wipe the glue off of her fingers while she's in the process. And that's a really good idea because as you have glued a few things down and gotten glue on your fingers, then some of the next images you glue down, like if you don't move your fingers fast enough, the image will get stuck to your finger a little bit. And it might tear, which I did to the rings, actually, the, the blue ones on the right that I really like. Because <clears throat> um, they stuck to my finger <laughs> while I was trying to put the glue stick on. So, yeah, so it would be good to be able to wipe your fingers off after every, every few things that you glue down. 
um, some of this. I I try I sped it up and I cut some of it out, but I did. There's a like an exclamation point made out of diamonds, and I cut a, cut right there. It just snuck on. There it is. I cut it out, and then <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't want to leave it on there. It just took up too much space. It was harsh in my mellow there, so I got rid of it. Um, and I guess I'll have to use it some other time, though, because I like it. I think it looks pretty cool, but I don't know. It's pretty big. Um, yeah. What I like is the freedom in glue booking. Like, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. It makes sense to me, whatever, you know, whatever I'm doing. Um, laying it out beforehand is good, too, just because if you're overlapping stuff, you can kind of leave stuff like I did with those two um, in the middle of that necklace right there. You can leave them there for reference so that you can kind of get your layout the way you had it initially, although it's not exactly probably what I had, but it still works out. Um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, my older son has a tennis match today, so I have to leave here in just a little bit. Um, it's his first tennis match for the season for his school year. And um, big reveal today, he should find out where he lands on the team, like where where he ranks, I guess. So that'll be exciting. And he's been working pretty hard, so I think he's looking forward to finding out um, if he ended up where he wanted to on the team. Pretty competitive. Um, and, uh, and hot tennis season is a nightmare for the spectators. Oh man, it's, you know, just in August and September and you, a lot of times schools, they don't have their tennis courts like anywhere where there's shade. They're just like out on this like hill and like an altar under the sunshine and it's, it's pretty warm. <laughs> so, um, it's a, like a fun game. Me and the other parents were always like looking for where the shade is and we all congregate in this little spot of shade if we can find it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I always remind myself like I'm not the one who's running around <laughs> on the court right now. So I get to sit here with my water bottle. So, um, yeah, there he just peeked in to see if we're leaving soon, which we are, but not yet, because I'm going to finish recording this. Oh, he's ready to go. Um, yeah, so tennis today. Um, yeah, and the last few weeks, like, I had all these grand intentions of trying to, you know, read ahead, which I did get my textbooks. I did read ahead a little bit, but... I started reading ahead like three weeks ago, and then I was worried that um, I would forget everything I read <laughs> if I read out too far ahead. So I decided to wait, and now um, and I got into my bad habits of not doing my schoolwork, not like making myself get stuff done. So uh, we all need a break, though, don't we? Got to cut ourselves a break. So I took my break, and... Um, I think it'll be good. I'll get it figured out. But I think one of the tough parts is actually like figuring out a schedule that works. Uh, luckily, where I'm doing my internship, there's a lot of freedom with your schedule. You can make, you know, you can work whichever hours work for you. You just give them those hours. Um, and that's what you will do. But um, just trying to fit that around, like, pickups and activities and stuff and then my own school stuff has just been an interesting I feel like I need some spreadsheets and a calendar and some highlighters to to do it so <laughs> I think I will probably make a spreadsheet or two in the next couple days and get it figured out and then I'll have to pack for my little trip so lots of fun stuff coming up I like, um, you can see me just go back and forth trying things out. See, I like to line things up in like little stacks. Um, 
I don't know why. It just looks nice to me. And then I even came back a third time. So this, I think, after I finished this little session, I set the books um, on the pages to kind of weigh them down and flatten them out. And then I came back. Now I'm back with um, putting some words on there to kind of bring some interest or kind of finish out the pages in a way. I don't know if I'll come back and add. I might come back and add something to these pages at some point. Um, maybe smaller gems, just like singular ones or or something at some point. But um, I think they look good as they are if I don't end up adding anything else. They're really colorful and shiny, so they turned out the they turned out well, I thought. Um, I always like stepping away and then coming back to look at them, and that's always like a nice, oh, look what I did. <laughs> so, um, so that's pretty much it, and thanks for joining me today. I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.